What's one thing you don't like about Reddit? If you give your opinion on anything that someone or the majority doesn't agree with, you'll get bastardized. I've personally received slight threats and horrible messages from people who didn't agree with my post, comment, stance, etc. It's infuriating. That's why I also like some sites where there are no upvotes or downvotes. Every opinion has the same range and importance. Upvotes are the source of echo chambers. It's an echo chamber where people can go to specific communities to affirm their biases. Facts. Sometimes I just scroll through r socialism or r Trump 2020 or r atheism or r Christianity or something like that and every single one is just a circle jerk of people acting like they're objectively right because no one disagrees with them monsieur. I said one sentence defending capitalism on our socialism and now I'm permanently banned. It was fun when I was getting killed on our politics for supporting Biden up until Bernie dropped out. Now you can get updated if you support Biden as long as you qualify it with orange man bad. Reposts really aren't that bad. What really gets to me are the exact same comments in every single thread. The same jokes. The same references. The same thing every day getting upvoted to the moon and gilded half a dozen times. Brogue in arms. Dib Nazi da coming. Einstein didn't fail MAF though. P-ball of Reddit. Underrated. Edit. Wow this blew up rip the M-U-H-I-M-B-O-X. This take our U-boat. I wish I could U-boat more than one. This comment right here officer. Do people actually enjoy the same joke again and again and again? Do they find them funny? Do they seriously think that it deserves their own money to be spent on a little pixel metal? Edit. Thanks for the gold kind stranger. I never thought my highest upvoted comment would be about NRBSMMZKKN. Whenever I see a comment that just says this, I downvote it so hard. A lot of comments are just people attempting to be funny or simply repeats of jokes that they heard on another thread. Sometimes it can be hard to get meaningful answer to your questions. Your mom lmao the funnies tears of joy rolling on the floor laughing tears of joy tears of joy rolling on the floor laughing obvious political agenda and a system of vote manipulation. Corporate marketing disguised as legitimate posts. The community that this site once was is eroding by the day. The karma system is cringy. Half the people seem like they're only posting for internet points. And to top it off the karma system is supposed to bring content and comments that contribute to the discussion higher up so more people see them. Instead people use it as like, dislike and turn every sub into an echo chamber. It has a humongous echo chamber problem monsieur but, the other huge issue I see is the lack of critical thinking. People on Reddit blindly adhere to anything they are told by what they consider an authoritative voice. And heaven forbid you ask questions or say anything against what an expert said. That, and the lack of argumentative skills. I see. So often, people will stake a claim and when asked for sources laugh and say, it's not my job to Google it. And for fuck's sake if you're making a claim. Yes it is your job to back up your claims with reasonable argumentation and sources. I see so many ad hominems, appeals to authority, circular logic usage, and other poorly constructed arguments and the person doesn't even care when you point it out. The lack of intellect is astounding. Our coronavirus in a nutshell. Censorship. Removed. Data expunged. Yeeted out of existence. They sold out. They used to be all about free speech and freedom of expression. Now subreddits are falling like flies. Greater than we stand for free speech. This means we are not going to ban distasteful subreddits. We will not ban legal content even if we find it odious or if we personally condemn it. This quote by former Reddit CEO, Yishan Wang, is far from relevant nowadays. Constant sex questions, celebrity worship, abusing terms such as incels, neckbeards, liberal, centrist, fascist, etc. The latter is my biggest issue, Reddit has developed.
I'd say mostly in the last year. These labels all throw Karen, SJW and Tim in there are also that stereotype and pigeonhole Redditors as a means of silencing debate. The double standards in terms of which subs get banned quarantined which ones don't. How in some subreddits it's almost impossible to post something that should go there. As there is no better subreddit to put it on, but is somehow against the rules. Also, the fact you need at least 200 comment karma to post on some subreddits. Just go on to r squeegee for a bit to get your internet points up. That you need to comment in the first two hours or no one will see it. Even if it's a fire comment, it can be an echo chamber just like every other social network. Really? I just figured everyone else believed the exact same things I did. Yeah like why the fuck did so little people vote Bernie? I swear every post about him was gilded. The ridiculous captcha to sign up. If you have to click 50 plus times to prove you're human. Then your captcha sucks. I gave up several times before finally getting around to dedicating enough time to pass it. I had my intern create an account for me since Google's captcha is so ridiculously bad. If you use Tor browser, it's even worse. It took me weeks to get past the CAPTCHA here. Yet, I almost gave up. The endless reposts. The constant anti-Americanus monsieur. Lol ha 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 you think your country is bad well look at the US. Ha ha guns. Ha ha healthcare LMAO another school shooting. ROFL Americans are so stupid. China is better. Lol USA is the third world country. Shut ya damn mouth. We get it? When the post is new can't say my upvote changed my mind. It's a stop vote bias. If you saw the same post with 60 upvotes compared to 60 downvotes, you'd be more inclined to downvote. It works in the subconscious. Holy crap I finally discovered it's a feature at 5 in the morning. People's general rudeness and pretentious attitudes in a subreddit where a person new to a hobby, genre, trade has questions. Every comment is a joke. Don't get me wrong, some are funny. But every post. If I have something witty to say I'll say it but I don't do that with every comment. I am not trying to always be funny because I am not always funny. If someone already said what I was thinking or if my comment isn't adding anything I just don't. Comment. Cake day posts are the worst kind of karma horror posts and still everyone gives them up votes. So every day we get awful content that everyone pushes to be successful. I have never seen a cake day post. Though I hate the happy cake day commenters. Pulls me out of the immersion of whatever topics I'm reading. In discussions about movies, shows, animes. Any form of negativity is always downvoted to oblivion. As constructive as it is. Reddit is the world of Teletubbies when it comes to this. Which is a shame because otherwise I love everything about Reddit. You can't give your opinion unless there is a decent amount of people that actually supports your opinion. Personally for me, am I supposed to go through every corner of the internet before I post anything? Because almost every post is filled with people trying to provide sources where we could have copied from Monsieur. No no you failed basic Reddit training. If you speak with authority nobody is gonna ask for sources. Not even mentioning if it gets gilded. Then it automatically becomes fact. Edit thank you for the gold stranger. I don't like that people can't express their opinions in a civil way without personal attacks or getting nasty and condescending. I love discussing anything and everything with people who disagree with me because I think you learn and grow more by doing so. But as soon as you question them or what they are saying, they take it as you wanting to start a fight. Agreed. I made a passing comment about evolution and users dogpiled me. Search bar is often pretty pointless. Hypocrisy. As a community, we think of ourselves as champions of empathy, equality, open-mindedness, scientific inquiry, and critical thinking. However, this is one of the most narrow-minded groups I have encountered. We are only empathic to those like us. Critical thinking about ideas we don't agree with. Open-minded about what we already believe. 
use science to back up our cockamamie beliefs, and don't understand what is trash in the media and what can be trusted. Every day the front page is full of tweets that people think of as brilliant and incisive when all they do is make absurd generalizations and weaponize them against groups of people that don't tend to comment here. As a more specific example, take our science. I haven't been there in years because I find it too exasperating as a scientist myself. But when I left it was a pile of hot garbage populated with posts of crap journalism and even crappier blogs touting and totally misunderstand studies that prove recreation drugs only make us healthier. Introverts are the greatest geniuses and the most sensitive of souls. Depressed people are somehow better humans. And women are just fucking crazy. Reddit's a huge douche towards religion. Yay it gets smug, repetitive, and tiresome. However, people are perfectly justified in being hostile towards organized religion. For all kinds of different reasons. Yeah they dislike religion and are aggressively liberal. From personal experience, on our teenagers, people get up votes for literally saying the Quran is evil but I get down votes for defending it. There was a thread on another subreddit the other day where someone was asking for advice on how to handle a schedule conflict in their life that overlapped with Christmas, which is obviously an important religious time for the Monsieur one person rather than providing substantive advice, decided to spend their entire comment debunking the story of Jesus and Christianity as a whole, and saying that the solution to the problem should simply to become an atheist instead. Nothing about the actual problem at hand. It was infuriating to read. Politics. I'm a very political person and absolutely love having civil discussions about my views. However, I've had to deliberately stay away from anything news-related on Reddit because of the rabid animals that patrol the comments on our news and other political subreddits. It's impossible to share your opinion. If you're liberal, you get called a libtard, cuck, etc. If you're conservative, you get called alt-right, racist, sexist, Nazi, etc. How can you expect Congress to get along and get things done when you can't? The contemporary American political scene is incredibly polarized in online discussion. Civil discourses, usually, of course there are exceptions, only possible in person, or in private DMs, texts, or similar. I'm a socialist, so I'd be considered fairly radical. Though I can't help but think that it's a bit silly how much my group constantly demonizes the opposition. That doesn't convince anyone, and in fact is antithetical to the idea of spreading ideology. There's no way to appeal a subreddit ban. Especially when it's just a power-hungry mod who doesn't like what you post but is otherwise compliant within the rules. That 9 out of 10 times I engage with someone it ends in a personal attack with no valuable information shared. 1 out of 10 times I actually connect with someone like me who is more interested in gathering information from others than changing someone's mind. When you can't be honest to people all the time without getting downvoted. So you have to sugarcoat shit you say. I mean, you don't have to sugarcoat anything. Downvotes don't affect you. I just say what I want, and assume down voters are wrong because I know I'm not lol. Lol I care. Sometimes I could care less. In this day and age if you not agreeing with someone you get called close-minded like huh. I hate how we hate on other platforms sometimes because they are different. Like the Reddit vs Insta situation? We do the exact same thing. We steal memes from other sites and other platforms I think that should be okay though. It's just sharing to more people. There really shouldn't be anything wrong with it. That people manage to forget it's just another form of social media. No sound on mobile GIFs. For a website that is meant to promote discussion and free speech. It really is the worst place for discussion and free speech because of two things. Down votes politics. As a liberal, it's really disappointing to see how any mention of conservatism or religion just to get us 
blasted by downvotes on Reddit. This, and I can't really blame them, leads them to echo chambers where they can go and affirm their biases and prejudices. Which only makes the whole thing worse, it really is a vicious cycle. And I mean this point for all political views. Please find your own unbiased news source. Funnily enough I've found, our political compass memes to be the least echo chamber why. If that even makes sense. Sub. I'm the most leftist person I know, but even I think, our politics goes too far. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.